In today's video, we're about to explore the intricacies of the Vice City Mapping Project, unraveling the mysteries of the latest map iteration. Join us as we meticulously analyze the details and draw insightful comparisons between the expansive GTA 6 map and its predecessors within the series. Our adventure doesn't stop there. We'll be immersing ourselves in the leaked information from 2022, unveiling a treasure trove of open world activities. Brace yourselves for a comprehensive list featuring every nook and cranny on the GTA 6 map, showcasing not only new additions, but also the anticipated return of beloved locations from the iconic GTA Vice City, as hinted in the leaks. Let's kick off this exploration by delving into the heart of the GTA 6 mapping project. For those familiar with it, this official endeavor aims to provide a scale-accurate representation of what players can expect in the actual game. The map sprawls across two major cities, Vice City and Ford Gorn, and every detail is meticulously curated from leaks and the official trailer. Now, for those wondering about the seemingly expansive green spaces on the map, it's important to acknowledge the limitations of our knowledge. The apparent emptiness serves as a stark reminder of the scarcity of information currently available. The top portion of the map, appearing cut off, isn't indicative of boundaries or future expansions, but is rather a canvas awaiting details yet to be unveiled. Addressing rumors about the map's size, speculation abounds that GTA 6 will boast three major cities. While Vice City and Port Gorn are confirmed, the third city remains shrouded in mystery. There's a buzz that it might be Yorktown, potentially located north of Port Gorn. However, specifics about the placement of these locations marked in red are still elusive. Now, let's delve into the exciting prospect of exploring key locations on the GTA 6 map. These names, extracted from the official trailer and leaks, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the rich and diverse world awaiting players. Get ready to traverse the landscapes of Yorktown Red Hill Fairyland Forest, near Berryland, a whimsical Disneyland parody, Ambrosia Lake, Leonida, Lore North, Beaches Belleville, Ica, Vice City, Hamlet, Grass Rivers, and the enigmatic Gator Keys. As our journey unfolds, stay tuned for more updates, insights, and speculations surrounding the continually expanding universe of GTA 6. The road ahead promises thrilling surprises, and we're here to navigate it together. Now, let's delve deeper into the intriguing details surrounding Port Gellhorn. The bustling streets and structures around Hank's Waffles Diner, a focal point for a heist according to the leaks, spark anticipation for dynamic in-game events. The meticulous rendering of these locales not only captures the essence of the city, but also invites players to immerse themselves in the narrative-driven experiences that Rockstar Games is known for. Examining the speculative changes in Port Gellhorn, the notable relocation of the Port Gellhorn airfield suggests a strategic reimagining of the city's layout. This shift, coupled with the adjustment of the Port Gellhorn raceway, hints at a carefully planned urban evolution, potentially altering the dynamics of the airport's placement within the city. The industrial sector of Port Gellhorn provides a gritty backdrop, with the iconic United States prison maintaining its imposing presence. The inclusion of the pawn shop, prominently featured in the trailer, underscores the developer's commitment to integrating real-world elements seamlessly into the game environment. Venturing southward, areas like Second Fina and Belleville remain enigmatic, their constant relocation adding an element of unpredictability to their final positioning on the map. Ambrosia La Pearl, steeped in mystery, teases players with its undisclosed location, heightening the sense of intrigue surrounding these diverse neighborhoods. Our exploration now takes us into the heart of Vice City, where a substantial chunk of the urban landscape unfolds before us. While speculation abounds regarding the placement of red buildings and names, the gray structures, sourced from both the trailer and leaks, serve as tangible landmarks, anchoring our understanding of the evolving cityscape. Vice Beach emerges as a vibrant district, adorned with numerous hotels that were meticulously analyzed in previous videos, providing a tangible link between the virtual world and its real-life counterparts. Washington Beach, with its diverse skyline, beckons players with promises of new adventures, enhanced by the improved streets of Stockyard, Little Haiti, Rock Ridge, and Crosstown, as showcased in the trailer footage. Descending further into the enchanting realm of Grass Rivers, we come across the enigmatic district of Hamlet, speculated to mirror the charm of Homestead. Yet, the persistent red designation leaves us tantalizingly in the dark about its precise location. This region reveals fascinating land Marks, including a power plant nestled at Turkey Point and a sewage treatment plant, painting a vivid picture of the industrial landscape as gleaned from leaked footage. The presence of Grass Rivers itself, along with the mysterious Gator Keys and the alluring sundown, adds an extra layer of intrigue to this particular segment of the expansive GTA 6 map. 
A moment of appreciation is certainly due to the dedicated individuals steering the mapping project, whose commendable efforts grant fans an evolving and detailed peek into the GTA 6 world. Their commitment to accuracy and meticulous attention to detail foreshadow an immersive gaming experience, setting the stage for the excitement surrounding the official release. Now, let's delve into a truly mind-blowing comparison that has set the gaming community abuzz. Our gaze shifts to the juxtaposition of Los Santos from GTA 5, Liberty City from the iconic GTA 4, and the highly anticipated anticipated Vice Beach from GTA 6. The comparison not only highlights the need for potential adjustments in Vice Beach's size, but also emphasizes the extraordinary density and detail that players can expect. Acknowledging the observed need for a slight enlargement of Vice Beach, the visual impact remains nothing short of extraordinary. The comparison underscores the incredible density that GTA 6 promises, reminiscent of the lively streets and vibrant atmosphere experienced in the streets of GTA 4's Liberty City. Speculation regarding the buildings in Vice Beach, as shown showcased in the mapping project, heightens the anticipation, with the close proximity of structures promising an unparalleled level of immersion and detail, evoking nostalgia from the beloved GTA 4 era. This meticulously crafted map stands as a colossal playground, harking back to the bustling streets that made GTA 4 a standout title. The intricate detailing, the tightly packed urban landscape, and the anticipated density all point towards an experience that pays homage to the franchise's esteemed roots while pushing boundaries in the expansive open-world genre. The enormity of GTA 6, both in size and detail, heralds a new era in gaming. The astonishing comparison, showcasing the potential density and intricacy of Vice City, is nothing short of a revelation. A special acknowledgement goes out to the mapping community for their outstanding work in envisioning an entire Vice City characterized by a multitude of buildings. The level of density and detail promised is unprecedented and is set to redefine the benchmarks of open-world gaming. The concept of an expansive map allegedly featuring three cities elevates the excitement, presenting players with a gaming landscape of unparalleled proportions. Now, delving into the realm of open-world activities revealed in the 2022 leaks, the thrill intensifies. With four confirmed activities and the potential inclusion of dice, GTA 6 promises a diverse range of immersive experiences. Golf, fishing, and races are confirmed elements that contribute to the dynamic and engaging environment that Rockstar Games is crafting. A particularly intriguing moment unfolds in the trailer, as Jason, visibly nervous, speeds away from a robbery scene, with Luke clutching the ill-gotten cash. In the distance, the iconic Top Golf in Doro makes a cameo, a real-world entertainment destination located in Doro, Florida. The climate-controlled hitting bays, HDTVs, and sports bar elements create an enticing backdrop for players to explore. This real-world integration adds a layer of authenticity, bridging the gap between the virtual and real worlds. Fishing, poised to be a serene yet potentially rewarding pastime, is expected to be available from various locations in the vast ocean. Races, an integral and adrenaline-pumping element of the GTA series, are set to deliver high-octane excitement that fans have come to expect from the franchise. Furthermore, a detailed list from the GTA 6 document unravels every location visible in the leaks on the GTA 6 map. This includes not only new and thrilling destinations, but also the return of iconic locations from the beloved GTA Vice City. The inclusion of familiar locales adds a nostalgic touch, creating a seamless connection between the past and the present within the expansive world of GTA 6. Now let's embark on a comprehensive exploration of some of the familiar locales, making a triumphant return in GTA 6, as unveiled by the mapping project. These recognizable names from the GTA Vice City era evoke a sense of nostalgia, rekindling memories of past gaming experiences. Leaf Links, Malibu Club, Washington Beach, Ocean Beach, Ocean Drive, Ocean View, and Little Haiti are just a few examples of the beloved spots that players will once again encounter in the immersive world of GTA 6. It's a poignant journey back in time as we rediscover these iconic locations, now reimagined and seamlessly integrated into the highly anticipated GTA 6 map. Venturing further into the extensive list of locations, our focus remains on the map, unveiling an array of intriguing places that contribute to the game's richness. Among these, the Jack of Seas nightclub takes center stage, having made appearances in both the official trailer and the leaks from 2022. While a detailed reading of every location is beyond the scope, feel free to pause the video and explore these fascinating spots at your own pace. From quaint small stores to the distinctive stone sculpture gracing Vice Beach, each location adds layers of detail and authenticity to the sprawling game world. 
some of which have been exclusively revealed through leaks. Shifting our gaze to Port Gilhorn, a diverse array of captivating places awaits discovery. The car wash, soccer field, a bustling basketball court, the Ambrosia Farm, and the intriguing King Neptune statue are just a glimpse into the eclectic offerings in this part of the map. Sailing through the Keys, exploring underwater ruins, investigating an underwater research facility, and contemplating the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle add an extra layer of fascination to the GTA 6 experience. With the unveiling of the mapping project, the sheer depth and meticulous attention to detail that Rockstar is investing in the GTA 6 map become even more awe-inspiring. The possibilities for Easter eggs and hidden secrets in this expansive and densely packed landscape seem limitless. We'll delve into the most recent iteration of the GTA 6 mapping endeavor. We'll explore the freshest alterations introduced to the map, including newly incorporated locales and adjusted road placements. Additionally, we'll examine some intriguing revelations stemming from the inaugural official trailer, such as the appearance of a swordfish. Furthermore, we aim to tackle one of the pivotal queries surrounding GTA 6, the extent of Rockstar's intention to amalgamate multiple states into the fictional entity of Leonida. We'll sift through all available clues, encompassing leaks and insights from the initial trailer, to shed light on the potential inclusion of Georgia in the game. Let's kick off by scrutinizing the latest rendition of the GTA 6 mapping endeavor. This most recent update, which debuted just a few hours ago, represents the pinnacle of this extensive fan-driven mapping project. Here's a peek at the current state of the GTA 6 map. We've got Vice City and Port Gilhorn in the mix, with tweaks made to both cities, along with some other spots on the map. Keep an eye out for changes like the prison from the opening shot and the gator keys. To kick things off, there's a fresh addition to Vice City, known as Waning Sands. While details about this neighborhood are mostly speculative at this point, it's believed to be the setting for a pivotal scene from the trailer. You know, the one where Jason and Lucia dodge past a few police officers in their getaway vehicle. In this vicinity, you'll find the Evergreen Mall Center, prominently featured at the start of the scene. Keep an eye out for a sign on the right side of the frame, showcasing various stores set to be part of this plaza. In a recent mapping video, there was some speculation about whether this plaza would be fully accessible. While only part of the name MLE is visible at the top of the sign, it seems the mapping community is also leaning towards it being called Evergreen MLE. However, the exact location of the MLE within the plaza is still up for speculation. Notice how the buildings on the map are marked in red? Well, there are a few other speculative additions to Waning Sands. These include a gas station, Sailbolt K condos, and Cricket Club condos. Here's what we're using as a reference. You can catch a glimpse of the gas station roof along with other nearby buildings. In a previous video, we floated the idea that this could be Top Golf in Dalal, Florida. However, it seems unlikely now since the placement doesn't quite line up. But hey, let's hold off judgment until we know more. Now, let's talk about some updates in the positioning of various elements. The placement of several buildings, basements, speculative roads, metro, rail, crosstown, downtown, and brickle has been tweaked. We're using yellow and purple lines to show the speculative metro and railway in Vice City. The metro system has seen some significant enhancements, especially in its connectivity to Vice City International Airport and the area between Crosstown and Brickle. The buildings in this vicinity have also been reorganized to more closely resemble their real-life counterparts. Speculative roads and highways have been adjusted to better fit the new placements. We've also made slight adjustments to the rotation of the prison from the opening scene with Luke to align with new evidence. Additionally, we've fine-tuned the positions of some trailer markers in the stockyard area such as those for the car meet in Windwood and the bikers in Little Haiti. In terms of location changes, leaf links from the previous map version has been moved to Virginia Key, meaning earlier speculations regarding leaf links are no longer applicable. Furthermore, based on new radar map evidence, the shape of Picnic Island has been altered. Heading down south, you'll notice that Hamlet is no longer labeled as such. Instead, it's reverted to its real life name, Homestead. This change suggests that Hamlet might be situated elsewhere in the game. Now, shifting our focus to Port Gelhorn, the other major city on the map, it's also undergone some updates. We've added more speculative details for the area across the body of water on the other side of Buer Bridge, incorporating new evidence into the mix. So, to sum up, those are the latest updates to the GTA 6 mapping project. Before we wrap up, let's delve into an interesting discovery from the first official trailer. I'm not into fishing, but I noticed this in the trailer, and my first thought was a swordfish. But I could be wrong. Is anyone who knows more about fishing able to confirm? Let me know what you all think this is. Well, that's quite an intriguing find. Personally, it seems like a house decoration to me, but I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments below. In the next part of this video, we'll tackle the question about Georgia. 
On display in the leaks and backed up by inside journalists, the game will feature a plethora of locations that focus on Miami and the surrounding areas. The two main locations of the game are Vice City, based on Miami, and Port Gellhorn, which lifts direct locations from Panama City. As well as this, it seems Rockstar have brought down and featured locations from Georgia, including a prison and mountain ranges not present in real-world Florida. I'm curious, do you think Georgia will make an appearance in GTA 6? Let's examine the evidence we have so far. There have been some recent findings, so let's kick off by checking out this Reddit post. Georgia evidence. In the leaks, there's a mention of canyon etchings, along with the other ambient events, which I thought couldn't be in or based in Florida. The nearest canyon to Florida is Providence Canyon State Park in Georgia, and is only 2.5 hours away from Florida. This also may explain Red Hill Forest and the testing of Scree Hills in the leaks. There's also a couple mountains, or large hills, seen in the trailer. The first looks more like a large hill in North Florida, probably for hill climbing, but the second one at the end of the trailer looks like a Georgia mountain, like the one seen in the leaks. First off, this individual is discussing a clip from the leaks, where a developer is seen firing an assault rifle at a vehicle while Lucia is in the background. They've noted several ramps in the clip, suggesting developers use them to test vehicles on different slopes. The clip also shows various types of ramps listed, including MTB ramps, hill climb, mud drag, scree hill, mud drag string, and crash tests, as well as MX tracks. The speculation is that Rockstar might have been testing the scree hill due to its resemblance to locations in Georgia. Additionally, two shots from the trailer show hills, one at the 59 second mark where someone jumps on a table, causing it to break, revealing multiple cars ascending a steep hill in the background, and another in the final shot where Lucia kicks down the door to a convenience store, showing another hill or mountain through the window. Let's delve into the comments and see what the community thinks about these hills. Are there similar hills in Florida? Or has Rockstar taken some creative liberties and introduced hills from Georgia? Ekanfinaka is a place in the game, shown by the leaks. And Ekanfinaka is literally the old name for a swamp in southern Georgia. Not to mention we saw a big hill small mountain. I've lived in Florida for a long time. There are no hills anything like that in the state. Northern Florida has some hills, but nothing like that at all. The hill in the leaks resembles the Blue Ridge in northern Georgia. It's a fictional state. It could be a collection of features from four or five states for all we know. Two hours outside of Florida is hardly breaking the concept. I'd imagine much of the urban landscape will be much like Florida, with the outskirts being closer to Caribbean, or as you said, Georgia. There's a separate post talking about these mountains in GTA 6. We know GTA 6 is being based in Florida, a relatively flat state so it'd be obvious to think that the game will stay true to its setting. However, one interesting thing I found in the diner robbery footage from the leaks is that a huge mountain can be seen in the far distance, particularly around the part where Lucia starts approaching the police car from the passenger side. I'm not sure if anyone else has noticed this, but it's interesting to note, considering Florida is the flattest state in the country lol. Maybe we can go to other states? The area does resemble rural Georgia. Thoughts? I think it will be more similar to RDR2 than past GTAs where it's only one state. I bet the map will be a hybrid of Georgia and Florida. If not, then Florida and most likely another country like Cuba, or some South American country with mountains. Yes, probably we can visit the state of Georgia. A few weeks ago, someone found out that the prison you can see in one clip is from Georgia as well. Multiple states in the game. The Florida scout lady mentioned rockstar scouting interiors in Florida and other states in the southeast. Hopefully this means we get towns, or maybe cities in these other states, instead of simply hilly terrain. As this individual pointed out, there's a prison visible in one of the leaked clips, and it bears a striking resemblance to Augusta State Medical Prison. Situated in Grovetown on the county lines of Columbia County and Richmond County in Georgia, United States, this facility houses primarily male inmates with occasional female inmates and has a capacity of 1326. Built in 1982 and operational since 1983, it operates as a close security prison. Augusta State Medical Prison was one of the seven prisons involved in the 2010 Georgia prison strike. With such solid evidence pointing towards Georgia, or at least a portion of it being featured in the GTA 6 map, it's worth noting that Rockstar has done similar things before. In GTA San Andreas, for instance, they created the state of San Andreas, which is a blend of California and Nevada, with Las Venturas mirroring Las Vegas. We've got a list of stuff that's actually confirmed for the game, so let's dive in. Now, the game isn't coming out anytime soon. Rockstar Games is still working hard on it. But thanks to some leaks, we've got some inside info on what to expect. We're talking vehicles, game physics, and the main characters, Lucia and Jason. 
Plus, we've got details on the map, the huge open world, activities, and all the weapons you can play with. There's also a bunch of cool stuff going on with NPC AI, RPG elements, and some new gameplay features. People are pretty hyped about all this, and they're chatting up a storm about what GTA 6 is going to be like. Now let's check out the vehicles in the game. The GTA forums did a solid job gathering this info, so shout out to them. So we've got confirmed vehicles like the Blista Compact, Ocelot Locust, and something that looks like a 90s Buick Skylark. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. There are a bunch of other cars too, without official names, like a 90s Chevy Caprice, a 2016, present Chevy Malibu, a Chevy Sonic, and a 2018 to 2022 Honda Accord. Rockstar usually gives these cars funny names. Other rides include the Albany Primo, Benefactor Shafter LWB, something that's like a mix of Ford Explorer and Tahoe from the 90s or 2000s, a 2018, present Toyota or RAV4, with Lexus NX vibes and a Mercedes grille, the Pegasi Tauros, a 1980s Jeep CJA Scrambler, a 5th Gen F150, a G20 conversion van, a Brute Camper, a Vapid Speedo, H5 Mixer, Metro Mover, D-Class Sheriff SUV, Mobatsu Sanchez Livery, Nagasaki Street Blazer, a 1970s Ford Ranchero, a 1971 Buick Estate, an Albany Emperor, D-Class Turbo Sabre, Yoga Classic, The Contender, and Saddler. And don't forget the Slam Van Pickup, Bobcat XL, an updated Regina, Alpha, Gauntlet Classic, Moonbeam Helion, Boxville Go Postal, an unknown Albany car that's based on a 1959-60 Cadillac, a Rebel, some Asian sedan, Ferrasi or Ferroci, Boller, Novak, Buffalo STX, Alpha and Fudo, a Benson, NF890, Buffalo with no sports bumper, and the Stanier and Landstalker. With all these vehicles, GTA 6 is going to be quite the ride. Now let's talk about some gameplay clips making the rounds on social media. They give us a sneak peek at missions and what Rockstar is up to. One clip shows Lucia, our main character, trying to rob a place called Hank's Waffles, a diner. In this early test, the non-player characters look kinda generic and are jokingly called dummies in the game. The NPCs react to Lucia's aggressive moves, and their animations show they're pretty freaked out, kind of like what we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2. During the robbery, Lucia can aim her gun at a hostage, giving you the choice to rob or have a face-off. Taking a hostage adds some spice to the crime. Jason, the other protagonist, is there too, and you can interact with both characters during the heist. Jason pushes Lucia to hurry up and make a clean getaway, hinting at a Bonnie and Clyde style partnership, which lines up with earlier leaks about the game's story. People are even saying that Lucia and Jason look like Eva Mendes and Ryan Gosling from the Place Beyond the Pines movie, but we're not sure if the game's story will follow a similar path. Lucia and Jason look like they're in their late 20s. You can switch between them in the game using the controller's D-pad. When the cops show up, Lucia can threaten another hostage, and it leads to a face-off with the police outside. The outdoor area looks like it's inspired by Northern Florida with all the greenery. While trying to escape, Lucia and Jason rack up two wanted stars. But instead of a shootout, they skillfully maneuver through parked cars and hijack a police cruiser. You can tell it's an early part of the game from the tutorial-like prompts, including one about the police getting smarter and remembering cars involved in crimes. The clip ends with Lucia driving off in the stolen police car, and Jason assures her they can shake the cops. But their getaway ends with an accidental crash at an old car wash. In the next mission, Jason and Lucia hit up a strip club called Jack of Hearts and run into Dre, who's chatting with another lady. Dre talks about his music dreams and hints at someone named Boopy. During this chat, we get messages from two new contacts, Billy and RB Shaw, through a WhatsApp parody. The early footage shows a minimap that looks like the one in GTA 5, with icons that probably stand for missions from characters labeled WM and YJ. As they head up to the VIP second floor, Dre has a run-in with with DJ Tip, who's upset about waiting for drinks. Dre steps in, but it's clear that Tip isn't the most popular guy. Dre moves on, and that's where the clip ends. Just remember, this is early development footage, and things might change as the game gets closer to release. Another leak spills the beans on more than 500 world events, encounters, and Easter eggs you'll come across while playing. There's too much to cover, but I'll mention a few interesting ones. You'll find stuff like missing tourists, yard sales with new clothes, an event that's a bit like the insurance fraud thing in Saints Row, a voice in the storm drain that might remind you of Pennywise, a Bonnie and Clyde mystery that spans different places, and a workout challenge that suggests fitness activities are back. Players can also stumble upon an island camp, DUI tests, UFO sightings, an animal house, a swamp safari, and even the possibility of playing some crazy golf. There's a hint that the basketball court might be back too. 
Events like fishing, Satanist houses, backyard wrestling rings, and mansions with big cats offer a bunch of different experiences in the game world. Now, let's talk about the main locations in Grand Theft Auto 6. Ambrosia has Ambrosia Farms and the Tarmac. Bayside Copperhead, the Everglades or Grass Rivers, Fairyland and Fairyland Forest offer different environments. The Keys region includes places like East Key, Low Key, and spots like a garage, gas station, and liquor store. Lake Okeechobee has a motel, prison, and racetrack, while Little Haiti, North Beach, and North Miami come with places like gas stations, hideouts, and liquor stores. Port Gellhorn offers a variety of spots to explore, like an abandoned building, basketball court, beach, bingo hall, bowling alley, car wash, fishing store, fruit stand, gas station, motel, pawn shop, police station, quick shop, raceway, soccer field, and trailer park. Red Hill has a forest, South Beach features a boardwalk, gym, hotel, ocean drive, and park. South Miami Sundown includes a beach and tarmac, and Vice Beach covers Vice City suburbs and Washington Beach. There are also other interesting places like an abandoned hotel, observatory, fountain of youth, homeless community, Malibu Club, Monument of Leonida, Redneck Yacht Club, Spaceship House, Underwater Research Facility, and Dinosaur World. According to info from the GTA forums, Grand Theft Auto 6's open world is estimated to be at least two and a half times the size of GTA 5 ES, giving players a massive world to explore. The game seems to take cues from the successful approach in Red Dead Redemption 2. Promising a well-designed open world with intriguing mysteries. We've spotted some real-life Florida locations in GTA 6's development footage, like the Homestead Miami Speedway turned into the Port Gell Horn racetrack, and recognizable places such as Portofino Tower, Sombrero Key Light, Solar Amphitheater Bayfront Park, and Lone Depot Park. Even the 1000 Museum, a high-rise condo in Miami, is in the game, showing Rockstar's attention to detail. A metro map that's a match for Miami's real one suggests a deep immersion in the game world. The lush landscapes and greenery might hint at a move into Georgia but that's just speculation until we get official word. Details like the Vice City Neighborhood Police Department resembling the Miami Beach Police Department show Rockstar's creativity and world design. As always, we're waiting for official announcements to see how all these elements come together in the final game. Until then, the mystery of Grand Theft Auto 6 keeps fans excited. There's a recent leak suggesting that Alexandra Cristina Ecovari could be the voice behind Lucia in Grand Theft Auto 6. Her voice from a demo reel seems to match up with Lucia's leaked dialogue. We've covered a ton of info about Grand Theft Auto 6, from gameplay details to new features. It's important to remember that the game might still be a couple of years away from release, so we'll have to be patient. Now, let's dig into some interesting findings from the leaked clips. We see Jason and his pals hanging out by an in-ground pool in a lower-income neighborhood, cracking jokes about a parody of social media called Life Invader. It's all about brain downloading and poking fun at Jay Norris's demise, classic Grand Theft Auto humor. The leaked clips also give us a peek into early police AI testing, showing NPCs using cover better during gunfights. In one scene, Jason robs a diner worker with an assault rifle, and we see some dialogue options that look like they're from Red Dead Redemption 2, but they might just be placeholders. Jason's new ability to go prone is a fresh addition to the franchise, and a scene in a thrift or antique shop hints at the option for robbery, maybe even a place to sell stolen items, which adds depth to the gameplay. There are animation tests for Lucia and Jason, doing stuff like jogging, stopping, and ducking to avoid gunfire. Rockstar's developers also tested vehicle crashing physics, with a car driving over an overpass. Highway signs mention North Beaches and Lake Leonida on Interstate 97, with the current exit leading to Washington Beach. In another scene, Jason stumbles upon a shipping container full of cash and a motorbike. Various development clips show changes to the inside of a vehicle, suggesting new vehicle designs or customization options for players. Throughout the clips, there are various interactions with NPCs in the open world, like characters taking selfies, which makes the game's world feel more immersive. Another mechanic borrowed from Red Dead Redemption 2 is the ability for characters to pick up and carry bodies, adding depth to the game. Gameplay. We also see other influences from Red Dead Redemption 2 in different aspects of the game. The weapon wheel system is similar to Red Dead Redemption 2 with limited weapons and items you can carry. Lucia has a loot bag that might be used for robberies or stealing stuff from different places. The inventory system lets players hang on to health kits and other items for temporary buffs, and Jason can pick up and drop weapons from his inventory. In one scene, Jason enters a gang member's territory and takes cover behind a truck, and we see unique animations for characters reacting to getting shot. There's a mention of a jetpack that was previously leaked by Tom Henderson and it's inside the Jack of Hearts Club. The game includes parody logos for social media like Snapchat, Instagram, and Life Invader. Characters have different hairstyles, and there are realistic details, like Lucia's bra showing under her shirt, which adds to the game's realism. A new feature is the ability for players and NPCs to hold their guns sideways, which changes things up
up in combat. We also see Jason doing some fancy rifle tricks in the air, and another character in a parking lot shoots at him while holding his pistol sideways. The clips mention animations like Overdose, which hints at unique actions or events in the game. There are hints of horses and horse riding mechanics, likely inspired by Red Dead Redemption 2. The open world is packed with places to explore, like motels, metro stations, restaurants, pawn shops, and supermarkets. Small details, like being able to get a gumball from a quick shop machine, add to the overall experience. The game adds RPG elements, like managing food, drinks, sweat, fatigue, and even taming animals, which gives players a deeper gameplay experience. There are references to mountain bike ramps and city bike rentals, promising fun cycling activities. The leaked clips talk about loads of weapons, from regular firearms like pistols, shotguns, and rifles, to unusual ones like golf clubs, baseball bats, and crowbars. Players can also use tools like flashlights, binoculars, and lockpicks. Players can stay in motels and hotels, with the Kington Hotel as one option. There's even a pool party with live music for players to attend. References to the Everglades and wildlife like alligators, snakes, raccoons, and birds hint at diverse and unique environments to explore. A cool addition is the ability to shoot while swimming, which adds a new twist to combat situations. With all these elements, Grand Theft Auto 6 promises to be an immersive and engaging gaming experience.